Hello and good morning. It is Ray Eason with the Ancient Tree of Life channel or the unofficial Anunnaki the Bible channel on Facebook. So today I want to talk about, it is, uh, today's Wednesday. It is, uh, I can't remember what date it is. Um, it's 8.24 in the morning at, and it's December 11th, 2019. So today I want to talk a little bit uh, more abstract about some things, about a, a new system that I'm looking to set up. Uh, essentially the ancient Egyptian and Atlantean mystery school system. If you're interested in that, follow me right now and also check out my YouTube page. Uh, so last night I went outside and it was really cold. Um, it's, it's winter time, so it was really cold out and the moon is almost full. So I look up and I notice that the sky is just a deep, rich blue. And it just, it looked gorgeous. It was like, um, uh, not totally dark, but with a light hue going through it that made it look just gorgeous, right? And you could see several, uh, at least 10 stars, uh, maybe even 15 that were out last night. And as I look up, I always gravitate towards either the moon and if there's a halo around it, which there was, there was a great halo around the moon last night. And I also gravitate towards Orion's belt or the Orion constellation, right? Which are those three stars that are lined up in the sky with the other two or the four um, around them, right? And uh, two at the bottom and two at the top, right? To make up seven stars. And I look up and I hear one of my favorite authors in my head uh, mention how our ancestors used to do this all the time. We are looking up at the same constellations, at the same stars as our ancient ancestors, right? And in my head, the program immediately just came to life and I realized what I had to do. The Orion constellation, the, the, the stars in that particular, the Orion's uh, belt and Orion's constellation, has magnificent implication and symbology about it. Uh, the ancient Atlanteans used it, the ancient Egyptians used it, and I believe even the ancient Sumerians and Babylonians used it. Now, it may have been called something different. Um, in ancient Kemet or ancient Egypt, they were referred to as the seven pillars and they were linked to a, a school system that taught um, uh, practitioners how to utilize these seven concepts of spirituality and ascension, right? Uh, thinking and thought and feeling and being, right? And the ancient Sumerians did the same thing with the, uh, the ladder of lights or uh, the, seven, the, the seven rays or the seven frameworks, right? And there's other mystery school systems out there, but essentially they're all under the same guise of this seven, and it's because of the Orion constellation. The ancient Egyptians learned a lot of what they know about uh, the star system from the Atlanteans. Uh, from what I've read in the um, Emerald Tablet, Tablets, the Atlanteans, uh, the priests and priestesses of uh, Tehuti uh, or Thoth, taught the ancient Egyptians this when they when Atlantis went down and they went and the uh, the priests and priestesses of Atlantis went into Kemet, conquered them and then taught them how to live and conquer others and how to defend themselves and how to be so much more, right? And so now we have these two cultures. Uh, we have the ancient Egyptians, we have the ancient Atlanteans, and then we also have the ancient Sumerians. And the only reason I'm going to tap into the ancient Sumerians and the Babylonians is because I'm trying to stay within a certain uh, uh, archetype or fragment of, of spirituality. And we always have to have our three. So we're gonna start with ancient Kemet, ancient Atlantis, and also ancient Sumeria and ancient Babylon, which ancient Sumeria was said to have been a sister country of ancient Kim uh, or ancient Kemet. Um, and so they share a lot of similarities. And what we'll do with this three We'll use one as the core, which is ancient Kim. We'll use ancient Atlantis as a way of reference to an older time. And then we'll use ancient Sumeria or ancient Babylon as a way of looking outside of that system that we're working on for confirmation from an outside system. 
this is the secret to the one of the secrets to the number three, right? You've all seen the number three. You've 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 heard about it. The the three wise men, which are essentially the three stars in Orion's belt, which are um, all, I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly: Altanam, Altanak, and Minatank, or Minnetonka. Uh, those three stars are hallmarks for great spiritual work, right? And as I said, I I, I didn't uh, I didn't stutter on this. The three wise men that is for that's talked about in in the Bible. Basically, it gives it was a mapping for when a time frame would happen where the rise of this energy would come and manifest itself in a vessel in a body, and it was usually the Pharaoh um, or there's other reincarnation uh, tales linked to this in mythologies, but we're gonna focus primarily on the ancient Kemet, ancient Egyptian, the ancient Atlanteans, and also the ancient um, Sumerians and Babylonians. So if you're interested in more information, I'm setting up a Patreon channel, and Patreon is gonna help us essentially grow this, right? If you're So if you're interested, click on the link uh, to view my Patreon page, and it's probably not even up right now. Um, it will be up, um, but what we're gonna do is get people integrated into this community and this cause. What I want to do is I want to revive the ancient Egyptian, ancient Kemetic, and ancient Atlantean um, school systems, the uh, the thought systems, right? And there's a lot of information here, you guys, and it's totally freaking awesome. It's going to blow your mind out. We're going to start with the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, um, or as some call him, Tehuti, which represents some, uh, some other things. Um, and But we're going to start with the uh, Emerald Tablets, and we're going to break it down and talk about what it means in addition to some other ancient Egyptian things. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, check out the Patreon page, and let me know if you have any questions about anything that's going on. Look forward to talking to you. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.